Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 6 of Ephesians chapter 5. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them, for you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth, trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but instead even expose them. For it is disgraceful even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. But all things become visible when they are exposed by the light. For everything that becomes visible is light. For this reason it says, Awake, sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Therefore be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time because the days are evil. So then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not get drunk with wine, for that is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father and be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. The way we use our time reveals our values and priorities. Ephesians 5 verse 16 encourages us to make the most of our time. Here are ways to do this. Receive Christ as Savior. The only way you can live a life of truth, meaning, and full satisfaction is by personally knowing Jesus Christ. Pray. The greatest time-saver is prayer. Jesus recognized that His most valuable and productive use of time occurred when He was alone with the Heavenly Father. As you seek God's will, prayer acts as a compass in your life. Discover God's plan for you and live accordingly. A believer who knowingly sins or walks outside of God's will can expect to be unproductive and unfulfilled. You can't maximize your effectiveness if you're struggling against God or have become hardened to His voice. Write a mission statement for your life. Ask the Lord about His desires for you and think about how you can use the rest of your earthly life to bring Him glory. If you pray for God's guidance and for spiritual ears to hear His direction, you'll find He will make the most of your time.